Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? Nate Pushways here, back with another video for you guys. Uh, just came with some new Call of Duty World War II intel for you guys. Some new news, uh, just information. Actually, it's not new news, but it's, you know, just news you guys want to hear. Uh, so basically, Call of Duty World War II, Sledgehammer, they will be releasing their stuff on E3 on Sunday. I don't know what time, but sometime on Sunday. And they're going to be, you know, showing, you know, gameplay of their game and stuff. In which I am so glad to see, and I can't wait. We finally get a whole entire taste of what the multiplayer system will be like. And, you know, just how the graphics and everything. I, I, I just can't wait, man. So, some new news about the game so far in multiplayer is that they will be replacing the creative class system. Yeah, you guys heard it. They will be replacing the creative class system. I heard they are replacing it for divisions, so you're not going to have your typical, you know, run and gun class, whatever, you know, M16, silencer, extreme conditioning. They're actually also replacing infinite running, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, they're going to have divisions instead of create a class, so you're going to have your, you know, typical group person of that division that, you know, has, I guess, you know, Let's say one division has Juggernaut and another division has, like, Stamina or Medic or, you know, stuff like that. Kind of like Battlefield if you think about it. So, yeah. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm not really too big on that one. I mean, I would love to see Create a Class. Create a Class kind of brings out, you know, the customization of the game. But, I mean, we are going back to the roots. You know, boots on the ground and everybody wants a different Call of Duty. So, I understand what they're doing with the divisions part. It doesn't really bother me too much, but I just hope, I just hope that's not the reason why Call of Duty could be ruined, you know. I, I just hope this game is really good, so we'll see on Sunday, I guess. But, uh, yeah, all in all, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see the weapons and everything. I'm really excited just, just to jump into multiplayer and see how it is. I can't wait. I actually wanted to go and get a ticket to E3 in California, but, I mean, those tickets went from, like, $2,000 and up, so, I mean, I wasn't going to try and get in there. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Sunday, I will be watching. I will probably do a live stream on that, too, as well, because, you know, everybody's probably going to be watching it. But, uh, yeah, the whole convention is from June 11th to the 14th. So, I mean, it's going to be a busy Sunday through, like, Wednesday type week for uh, E3. So, I mean, I'm really excited for this. Can't wait. Like I said, again, I will be doing live streams on most of the big games. You know, Call of Duty and, you know, all the other games that they're, you know, new releasing. Um, I just, I just can't wait. You know, I really would like to attend. But, you know, as I said again, it is very expensive to get an E3 ticket. But, you know, whatever. Uh, more information, you know, little information. There are female characters now in the game, which is very good, you know. I'm excited to see, you know, actually female characters that we can play as. Even though they already had, you know, Black Ops 3, the uh, Overwatch girl in that game. That was, you know, neat on that part. But, uh, yeah, uh, other than that, no unlimited sprint. I'm fine with that, you know. Uh, Black Ops 2 did not have unlimited sprint. So, yeah, I don't really care for that part. But listen, listen, let's get to the fact here. No creative class. I want to know what you guys think about that. Um, I hear a lot of people, you know, complaining about that. Oh, it's not going to be good. There's no customization for the whole game now. What are we going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Listen, listen, guys. Don't worry about that part. That I feel as though Sledgehammer knows what they're doing, you know. I feel as though they honestly know what they're doing. You just gotta you just gotta know guys because they have to change it up. They can't they can't stick to the same stuff. You know, they, imagine if they stick to the same Call of Duty, you know, for you know the next 10, 15 years, man. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be good for them. You know, they have to market themselves differently and just change up their game a little bit. I mean that's that's the way it is. We don't want to see the releasing of the same game over and over again, guys. We just don't. But, uh, yeah, on the uh, divisions, I'm going to give you a little simple 
description of them, just the names of them. There are five divisions. The first division is called Airborne. I don't know why they would say anything that has to do with the air on Call of Duty World War II because it's just, I thought we were going back to the roots. We really need to stay out of the air because we don't want to see jetpacks. But whatever. Uh, yeah, airborne. So airborne, you know, first of the fight where you move fast and stay quiet. That's a little description of what airborne is. That's what they gave us for, you know, the intel of that. Next one is mountain, focusing on precise and deadly sharpshooting. Sounds sounds like my go-to division right there. Uh, infantry is the next one. Uh, be the tip of the spear. Okay. Sounds like, uh, you know, uh, Rambo type, you know, bow and net type gameplay right there. Sounds pretty cool, infantry. Uh, okay, next one is armored. Bring in the heaviest firepower. Okay. All right. Juggernaut, sounds like. Next one is expeditionary force. Packing heat with incendiary shells. Yeah, sounds like they're bringing back the uh, fire. One thing I noticed about, you know, Sledgehammer is that they've been using a lot of graphics from Advanced Warfare, which kind of scares me. But, you know, I don't think anybody else noticed that. But, yeah, I'm hope. I, I I don't know, man. They might they might do the same movement system they did in Advanced Warfare, guys. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but I guess we'll just wait and see. You know, don't judge don't judge a game by its cover, or you know how it, you know actually looks until you play it. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please drop a like. You know, subscribe if you're new. Peace out, guys.